Hello, hello. We are back with another plant reveal. I am Marie, your go-to wellness coach, but also your curious gardener, plant lover, all that good stuff. So today I want to show you the seeds that I'm planting indoors. It is officially spring, summer is right around the corner. And so I keep some seeds indoors to start some seedlings. And so today I want to show you what I've been growing since, I do put the dates on them. I think I started this on April 4th. And so these are Spanish peppers, very tiny, and I'm gonna be putting them out very soon. Um, so I'm starting these from seeds just to give them a little boost indoors. And so I have these cute little pots inside and then I'm gonna transplant them in a larger container outside. As I mentioned before, I primarily uh, do container gardening because I have a very small space and most of my growing happens indoors. And so you see a lot of house plants that I'll be sharing. I'm surrounded by plants, okay? But I also grow to eat, right? Go to eat and I eat what I grow, whatever the combination is. And so peppers, I do eat peppers. And so I wanted to grow them. The biggest excitement for me and I grow things in almost any, any kind of container. So this is an old like plastic container that I typically get food in and it accidentally, there's a hole under it and I decided to use it to start my seedling. So this has a combination. I think there are at least three things growing in here. So as you can see, these are peas and they needed a little support. So I just use this little bamboo stick in here. And so those are, Bean Blue Lake beans, okay? So they're really doing well. They're growing and they're gonna need to be climbing a wheel soon. So I am excited about that. I'm also planted some garlic in that container. So I usually just keep snipping them and cooking with them and they just keep growing, which is really awesome. And then one of my biggest success, I would say this year, biggest ever, so I tried to grow okra last year, nothing happened. I don't know why. So this year I decided to grow these. These are okra Clemson. Um, and I believe they are container friendly, but either way, the adventure continues because I wanted to start them inside, see how they do. And then I would transplant them outside in their own little um, vegetable bed and a container. So I'm going to be doing a lot of companion planting where I'm putting veggies that grow well together. They are friends. They will let help each other grow and thrive. And so as you can see, there are three things in here, but the garlic will stay indoors with me. And I'll continue clipping and eating and enjoying it. And, and I did that using just the bulbs that you buy in the grocery stores. And so it's doing well. Soil is in here. They are draining hole in the bottom of this. And again, this is just your standard and I label everything because I forget, I'm gonna forget. Uh, the beans, I probably won't forget, but you just never know. But I grow a variety of beans and sometimes the beans that I grow, I just take it from, again, the containers uh, from what you buy in the grocery store. And so keep it simple. I love it simple, easy peasy, literally easy peasy. And see what happens. So today I give you three. You saw the Spanish peppers in this little pot here. Then I showed you the okra, okra Clemson, and then the bean blue lake is um, this beautiful bean here that's growing and I'm excited. And then I'll show you what's going on outside once everything is set up this week. Uh, in the last few days, I just did a little cleanup. Everything was dried up. I didn't have the energy to really clean up throughout after winter. And so things were just like in complete disarray, but it was still beautiful. For me, I love seeing my garden in different stages. It's not always pretty all the time, just like life. And so I let it be, I let it sort of stay in its own state. And then eventually we're gonna clean out, remove the weeds, remove the trash, things flew in, snow, all kind of, you know, natural elements, right? And then now it's a new season and I want it to grow. I kind of want to share like a, a bonus plant with you, but one of the plants that I have, it's huge. Um, I don't even want to lift it right now. I just cleaned the leaves yesterday. I, I have a giant phyllo dendron 
and I'll share that with you next time. So but today I wanted to focus on the veggies, the veggies, the things that I know I'm going to be eating. Um, and then, you know, the only extra things is what you can see next to you, right? So you can see that I have this beautiful um, bird of paradise. This is a white one that I show on a different video that you can check out as well. I'm literally surrounded by houseplants. And so sometimes you get the houseplant, sometimes you get some veggies, and then I don't do too much fruit. Um, and of course, flowers, right? So I did some that I show you that I'm growing indoors. So I have some sunflowers that I'm excited. Those are the dwarf varieties, so they're not giant. Um, but again, they are container friendly. So everything, whatever you see me showing you is me experimenting. Oh, I know for a fact that it's gonna do well in containers. So the question for you is, what are you growing? Which one out of those three veggies that I showed you would you like to try, right? So the curveball for me was the okra because I've tried it, it failed. And I was just like, I'm gonna try it again, okay? You are testing me. And so we're gonna see what happens if I get to eat okra very soon. And of course, garlic is a staple in my garden and kitchen throughout the year. So I'm gonna be enjoying that. And of course the beans are so easy because they grow really, really fast. And so I'm looking forward to watching them climb and of course enjoying the beautiful blooms from the uh, flowers that I'm growing and other things sometimes that are not necessarily flowers, but they do bloom, right? Like my beautiful lemon that I have growing inside. I love watching the white blooms on that as well. So it's amazing. So thank you for tuning in and I'm hoping you are planting some seeds today always, always keep planting those seeds and let me know, let me know what are you trying this season in your garden. I am Marie and I will see you next time.